Two of the projects that we've developed involve in directly or indirectly youth. One is the legalization of cannabis and its economic impacts. Measure Y, which legalized cannabis in Merced, 30% of the sales revenues will be directed to parks and rec youth services, which are desperately needed here in Merced. So our grad student project not only traces the history of that legalization, but also collaborates with local community organization as they advocate for the city to honor that measure and ensure that the amounts due are going to be uh, allocated. Our project is uh, legalization of marijuana and its economic impact in the city of Merced. Measure Y was approved in city of Merced in 2018. That uh, basically gave them authorization to qualify uh, and approve marijuana-related businesses that were involved in those endeavors. And the first outfit that opened their doors was Blue Fire. And they have 40 full-time employees, 20 part-time employees, and they're planning to have 20 more employees in their future. So you can see that the growth of this endeavor is fairly significant in a small community like Merced. The business tax revenue started flowing into city of Merced. However, there was no public accountability or uh, report of expenditure. Community uh, engagement activists got concerned and they gathered at the city hall, uh, the city council meeting in June of 2020 and demanded accountability. After a heated debate, uh, Mayor Murphy conceded and he said the 40% balance of revenue will go to Park and Recreation Department with a directive of uh, money being used for youth program only. In uh, July of 2020, a supervisor in the Park and Recreation Department announced that they have basically finalized 20 projects and they have received $337,000 from the city of Merced for those projects. And for example, the McNamara Park uh, that's south of Merced, uh, it's probably one of the oldest neighborhoods in the city. And they've been complaining for almost 10 years that the swings and other uh, things in that park are from 1960s. You have put money for a dog park in North Merced, dog park, but not for the playing ground for the kids in South Merced. There is a positive impact that this project has seen in the city of Merced. In the project, How Did We Get Here?, our graduate student team worked to train youth in archival research and gathering information that the youth can use to create a comic book about ongoing inequity in our town as well. Our team from UC Merced was integrated by Amalia Perez, Joshua Semerian, and myself. And we work with WISET, a local nonprofit organization that trains local youth in journalism and digital activism. There we work with Alisa Castro and Jen Ramos, the coordinators of the project, and a group of local youth. We initially designed a plan to train the youth on research methods. Uh, we had an initial workshop in the Merced County Courthouse Museum and a second workshop introductory to research. By then, we had the outbreak of COVID-19 and we had to change our initial plan. We divided efforts and started working on the argument of the script and working with several digital archives. What emerged from our research uh, connects Merced with a broader dynamics, uh, not only throughout California, but also national processes and global events. The presence of groups like the Mon communities or the Japanese concentration camp are testimonies of resistance and survival, but they are also traces of forward dynamics, militarizations, and expansionism at a global scale. WISA was invited to be at front of a rally that was organized by a number of organizations in Merced. The youth spoke at the rally, and then we basically walked to the downtown and we basically raised the, the banner uh, in one of the walls of uh, the building where we said it's located. That was an amazing moment, which I think make the comic book 
even more relevant, you know, like uh, the way it has been framed, I think make it, makes it even more relevant. Jazz Diaz, it's a local artist uh, that has joined the project and has, she has been like a really important addition to this project, uh, which is basically putting into illustration many of the findings that, that we have so far. This comic book, which connects the current Black Lives Matter movement with histories of racial discrimination, is a tool conjuring John Reader's imagination for a better future for Marcel.